Hello again everyone, this is Jim from 100th Monkey Mushrooms and in this video I want to show you another use for our mushroom garden kit which is to inoculate your own outdoor bed. Choose a fully shaded 6 foot by 6 foot area in your garden bed. Lay down a layer of cardboard to form a barrier against competing resident fungi in the soil and cover it with a 2 inch layer of dry straw or freshly chipped hardwood wood chips. Wet the layer substrate thoroughly with a watering can hose or sprinkler. Next, thoroughly break up your 100th Monkey Garden Kit into a bucket or a clean pot and then evenly distribute half of it over this layer of the substrate. Place another 2 inch thick layer of straw or wood chips over the spawn, wet it again thoroughly and then evenly distribute the second half of the spawn on the substrate. Cover this with a final 2 inch thick layer of straw or wood chips and wet it again thoroughly. Cover the entire area with a tarp, cardboard, or large trash bags. Water your garden with a hose or watering can once a week if there's been no rain and be sure to uncover your garden during rainstorms. So I'm going to leave my tarp or my covering in place for four to six weeks and that once a week I'm going to check it to make sure that it's staying moist. Now this has been on here for exactly one week. I'm going to take it off to check the moisture but also to show you how fast the mycelium and the lower levels is growing. Now first I'm checking for the moisture. The top inch or so is dry which is fine and underneath everything is is moist. You can still see it's moist. If it does look dry, anything deeper than an inch, I would re-wet it, but right now it still looks fine. Now I'm going to uncover this area to see uh, just, just in this one week how much growth we have. So you can see this is the amount of growth that we've had in one week and this is just the top layer where we put the second layer of the spawn from the garden kit uh, here and there's a whole other layer growing underneath. Eventually, of course, this is going to grow off this onto the top layers and this is the food source that's being consumed that's going to produce our elm oyster mushrooms. When primordia, the baby mushrooms, begin to form, uncover the garden bed and water it one to two times a day until the mushrooms are ready to be harvested. A very common question is when can I start my bed? And of course the answer to that is it depends on what your climate is. Here's some parameters for you so you can determine in your specific environment when that would be. Uh, first is if you're growing on straw, it's going to take about two months before the mushrooms begin to appear. After that, there's going to generally be another two to three productions about a month apart. So two months for the first day, you're looking at five months from the time that you start it until the straw has expended its energy. The straw beds generally will last just one season. When you're at a consistent daytime temperature between 60 and 80 degrees is a good time to start. If you're in a northern climate, you can start your mushroom bed generally at the same time that you would start your vegetable bed and that's going to give you a good five to six months uh, to grow your mushrooms. So if you choose to make your mushroom garden bed out of wood chips, these are much denser so they're going to take longer to colonize, they're going to take longer to produce, roughly about four months. However, on the other hand, because the wood chips are so dense, they will, at the end of the season, go into dormancy. And the following year, you can add more wood chips to it, stir it around, and possibly get the mycelium to start a whole nother round and continue it for another season. Now if you choose to inoculate the straw mulch layer of your vegetable garden bed, you do it in just the same manner that we described, although you want to be sure that your seedlings have grown to sufficient height, six inches or so, so that you know where they are so you don't cover them, and you spread the mulch around it. Or if you're transplanting your seedlings into your bed, you can start your your straw bed earlier, of course, spread the hole and plant directly into the soil below. One of the reasons we chose the elm oyster is that it seems to have a fantastic relationship with the garden plants. And if you do choose to inoculate your mulch layer in your vegetable garden, obviously your garden is not going to be in a shady spot like this. 
So what you're going to do is when you see the first primordia start to grow out, the baby mushrooms, is you're going to drape a shade cloth over your garden and that's going to protect it from the, the direct sunlight but it'll only be on there for four or five days. At that point, the mushrooms will be ready to harvest. You can remove the shade cloth and your garden has full sunlight again. Now, even though we've done everything to optimize our chances of growing elm oyster, we still want to keep in mind that there is a slight possibility that some other species could actually take over. And just like anything else that you're going to consume from nature, be 100% sure that it is safe to eat. And thank you for watching. Be sure to view our other two videos on how you can also use your garden kit to grow on your own substrate in your own container and on totem logs.